Good evening. Let us play some Alien Legacy. Oh, what am I doing? Have I set my stream information correctly? Let's change the description. And awesome. Al.exe. That's very loud for me. watching the intro. Come on. Walrus. Oh man, we still have too many humans. What a problem to have. Let's get another vehicle. Not waiting on anything there. But that one's fine too. Kiwi, we were still building this. That's just about done. Okay, awesome. We just sent. We need humans. Perfect, right? Transport to Ave Maria. Uh, you know what? Pipeline. Let's send them um, 45 humans twice. Oh, we don't have enough. Damn. Offline, online. That's okay. Uh, Parmesan, how are you? Why is this offline? We should have enough robots. Maybe we didn't before. The Bimbap, how about you? Okay, I think at both of these, we'll just leave them like that until we can have enough humans here to upgrade. Actually, why is there no ship here?
what are all these? It says humans with Ave Maria. Uh, Parm okay, this is Calypso to Parmesan. To Bimba. Okay. Okay, that's where our ships went. One of each building here. And we just don't have enough robots to do much of anything. Right, so let's change this to robots until we run out of ore, essentially. Um, Babby, you do the same. We need robots. Megalodon, you have nothing. Okay, these places have nothing. Now, why are there no ships at Babby? Was one of these two transports to Babby? Okay. So we just have a lot of ships right now. They're sort of in in limbo. Okay, our humans problem has been taken care of for the moment. Oh god, we can upgrade this again? Maybe we should just keep this offline habitat fully upgraded just to house humans. Math, physics, math. Uh, so we need mass drivers. Oh, yes, please invent this. And we need this next, so we just need one astronomy for that. Oh, they're both important. Invention complete. So, okay, we'll need to go get some more. Uh, just there's just too much of everything. Let's go exploring. I'm pretty sure there should be nothing anomalous in this already explored area. a tattered pamphlet. All you can manage to read is, the pylons exist on both worlds. Proof positive that this is the home system of alien beings. They have come back from the dead to kill us. Alrighty. If you guys say so. Okay, sweet. So this is from Ace's Alley. Probably covered everything in this region too. Yeah. Not what I need. Heavy obsidian. Yeah, we found that before. Need some astronomy. to any geologists, but it's boring. Oh, 
although the entrance to the Gaia Armory has was strongly fortified, something managed to force its way in and kill the people hiding inside. Hundreds of human skeletons are scattered around the floor. Rift is the home for some gelatinous plants, which are composed of a semi-solid chlorophyll substance contained within a transparent skin. Gross, they're like jelly bags. Let's collect more jelly bag plants. Whoa! A small school of aquatic life. And that's not all. Local vegetation produces a resin that makes them impervious to fire. Now that sounds useful, that sounds like something we should be able to get an invention for. Physics, that's always handy. Confusing magnetic fields. Oh, I almost didn't even see these. Least rainfall. Haven't we determined that other areas also have the least rainfall? Seems like one of these pilots was wrong. Oh. You find a deserted mining camp. Dozens of empty bags containing traces of gold dust litter the ground. Yes, 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 I needed that. Static dandelion poofs. Poisoned by arsonous salts. A uh, salt bridge, awesome. I'm getting a little bit far. Do we have enough fuel? power plant contains the remains of the Tantalus's fusion engine. Okay, yeah, we saw like a big mural of them dismantling it. The great engine has been vandalized beyond using. That's a shame. Whew, that was close. Uh, Parmesan. Okay, everything's fully operational. We have a robot. Something. Bibbin. It's fully functional here. Actually, are we shipping more humans here? I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Omega. Uh, what is wrong here? We need robots, yeah. Okay. have that extra ship. Alright, he be... Yep, pylons. Everyone loves pylons. Um, I guess go back to the Calypso. Babby is still... For some robots. Okay. Uh, I guess we should set up um, like a space station at Zeus. science though. Really need some astronomy. Okay, we'll take this too. A 
Celtic chemistry. A small patch of very pure borax. Cropping is all that remains of an ancient lava plume which has been worn down by erosion. Exciting. <laughs> Analysis of guano deposits produced by opossum like reptiles who live in trees indicates the material is an excellent fertilizer for ray and plants. Wano. Yum. You name this area Wegener Heights. I'm pro that's probably pronounced something differently. In honor of the German geologist Alfred Wegener? I don't I don't know man. I didn't even remember there was an unload vehicle option. What is that? What's happening? No. What the heck was that about? Is that gonna happen every time we unload cargo? Most of the greenery in this area consists of primitive ferns and other gymnosperms, plants producing naked seeds such as Terran conifers. Naughty seeds. Oh. You detect minute traces of methane in the area created by the microbial decomposition of organic matter. to a nest of scorpion-like insects rises three meters above the ground. You notice that all animals, no matter how large and ferocious, make wide circles to avoid the nest. I guess I would too. Is there no astronomy on this whole planet? You find a crystal with a beautiful orthorhombic structure. Baby, show me your orthorhombic structure. Orthorhombic. What would that look like? Like in that context, what um does ortho mean there? Like just a, a regular structure? Like regular, like ordered. Let's try and unload again. Okay, no weird sounds. We're good. Orthorhombic. A few coniferous trees manage to survive in the harsh cold. Science. Oh my goodness. Hello! 
how are you this evening? If it is indeed evening where you live. I'm currently sailing around looking for science. Uh, like these charred remains of an old forest fire. for finding things like this. Extremely pure silicon. Cool, so we can make some RAM. Rich boulders and gravel forming a moraine proves that this spot was the terminus of an ancient glacier. science in here. Oh, okay. Wow. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm on uh, East Coast US, so it's um, 6.30 in the evening for me. And um, doing, doing pretty swell, actually. a game that you've ever heard of? It's Alien Legacy. A flock of floating jellyfish-like creatures in the air. They expel buoyant gases and drop to the ground. Interesting. I normally do like to play shooters, but figured I'd try something else. Let's go ahead and invent this. This might let us upgrade our power plants. And we need one more electronics, one more astronomy. Probably have better luck finding that on Prometheus. It is the astronomy. Oh, I can build a factory here. Factory and power plant. We got our first humans here. of geology. You detect numerous microquakes in this area, indicating that the moon still has a molten core. So I think it did say this was a larger moon than Earth, so maybe it would still have a molten core. appear to be likely candidates for new types of resistors. Are there different types of resistors or just different, um, like resistance is, like different strengths of resistor? Basaltic rock contains numerous small pockets filled with the radioactive element radon.
Disciples of Platinum. Feldspar. Again, why wasn't the Platinum also geology? Why is that chemistry? So in nine, ten turns, we should be self-sufficient here. ships there. Mega. We need robots. Babby, we need robots. Oh, we actually have a decent number of robots. Okay. Uh, second factory going down. This one will be a mining factory. Oh, do we not really have that many robots? Is it just because I turned this offline for a moment? Yeah. Well, let's keep it offline. Maybe we'll have enough robots to run them both once this is done constructing. I somehow doubt it, though. Uh, what, where am I right now? Babby. Sub two transports to Babby. Transport to Calypso. Calypso. To pipelines. Wait, we have no pipeline for Parmesan anymore. Okay, and Parmesan does have a ship now. We're all humaned up here. Nice. Let's see how much longer we have on that mass driver. 41 turns, okay. A million years might as well be. My troops will remain on yellow alert, sir, until we find out what happened to the Tantalus and her crew. The two terrestrial worlds, Rhea and Gaia, are the prime locations to search for any clues to the Tantalus's fate. I highly suggest getting some people and ships on any of the other nearby planets as soon as possible. All right. All current spacecraft have been equipped with the subwarp radio, sir. It will become standard equipment on all future craft. Sweet. Any new technologies that will improve our spacecraft should be given first priority, sir. We can always use faster and more capacious ships. Capacious? That's an interesting word. I've never heard anyone use that word. I don't understand what Yes, I, I, I love older it's sort of retro games. Um, I played a lot of like Quake, Quake 2 sort of games. Um, as a youngster, and and also games like this, um, like old DOS games. My dad always had like a huge collection of DOS games, um, and we'd go through just playing random, random interesting looking games. Our factories and power plants should be upgraded as often and as quickly as possible. We need to make our colony self-sufficient, sir. The nice. radiation which enables the subwarp radio is not well understood at this time, sir. However, it does work. I think we'll be able to make improvements to the radio over time as we come to understand the nature of this radiation. It seems the Tantalus scientists made a number of interesting discoveries. We should scour the star system to find more. What about you? Do you play any, um, just, just like modern shooters? Do you have a particular type of shooter that you prefer? I can have a... More like you know, Apex Legends or Quake Champions or Call of Duty. Uh, what sort of games do you prefer? I do like um, newer shooters too, but I prefer like um, arena shooters like uh, Diabolical or Quake Champions.
Oh, all of our pipelines are done. Babby. This is too far away, though. When? Beta six. Oh, I have plenty of robots here now. Only Zelda games I've played, I'm ashamed to say, are the NES ones, like the original NES ones, both of them. Um, so none of the, like, ones that people actually like. I feel like it's only the 3D Zelda games that anyone likes. Uh, original NES was the last... Nintendo console I had, and I never had any of the handhelds either, so just never got into Pokemon. So I never had a Game Boy, and um, oh, the cards just weren't super popular at my school for some reason. Uh, everyone just played Magic the Gathering, so that's that's what I got into as far as the, the cards. So there's nothing to draw me to those. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone really likes Zelda 2, the um, the side-scrolling one. I don't know. It was a little bit, I don't know, jank. But I did like the, the original. robots everywhere. upgrade our ships again before we can do much at her and Hebe. cycles. So 
really inconsistent. <laughs> well, it also probably depends on um, the area of the US. The US is a really big place. Like, even in just the state that I'm in, um, like, I earn way more than, like, the state average. But in this particular, like, city I'm in, I'm actually earning less than the average. Uh, so even just in this state, like, it's a huge disparity between some parts and others. Um, just depending on where you are. Like, I don't, I don't know how many, like, super rural, just empty areas of Germany there are. But a lot of the U.S., you know, it's pretty backwards, like, in the Midwest and stuff. Uh, then you look at California or New York, and everything is very expensive, uh, so people are earning a lot. Of the U.S. as a whole, I don't know. I'd have to look that up. I, mean, I guess I guess you just looked it up, so uh, to compare them. So maybe maybe you'd have a better idea than I would as far as the U.S. as a, as a whole. Uh, really low, like I think sixty thousand. Uh, U.S. dollars, something like that. Um, it, was, it was shockingly low when I looked it up. Uh, and, like, where I'm living right now, like, I wouldn't be able to afford any sort of apartment even with that little... Like, it's just ludicrous. Um, but I think that's how it tends to go. Like, places where the average earnings are lower tend to also be cheaper to live at, so... I don't know. I'm not sure that's totally unfair. It's um, more important to, I guess, compare, you know, what everyone has left over as spending money, like average uh, cost versus the actual cost of living there. Because, I mean, people in, I don't know, L.A. or something, I'm sure that the average income there is super high, but everything is super expensive there. So I'm not, I'm not sure that's, it's just useful to look at the uh, average incomes. Uh, system administrator, uh, full-time at uh, IBM. But not for much longer. Um, we're being split off into uh, a new company called Kindrel, the part of IBM that I work under. So. Soon I will be working for Kindrel instead of IBM. They announced that out last month, I think. Yeah, like a Linux system administration, mostly. guy that everyone has to bug whenever they need to figure out how to do something in Linux. <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess so. <laughs> everyone, uh, I feel like, has something that they're, they're nerdy about, but I me, mean, it's just computers and Linux and programming. I'm not a programmer, but in my free time, I do a lot of, like, hobbyist programming. Oh, our space station's done. What 
about you? What sort of um, industry or career are you in? bigger moon than I thought. Sure, let's around, land around here. Oh. Okay, that was not where to land. Bearing the logo of the DeVries Company, you find the flight recorder which was partially destroyed. You can make out the pilot saying, Roger Tower, heading for corporate Ares in Sector 19. Problems we are, that alien obelisk we found. Sweet. Using our own ship's computer as a model, I have reconstructed the fragmented memory core That's quick. of the crash DeVries we just found it. one of our recon teams located on Hera. However, I was able to determine the location of an administration facility on Hebe. The coordinates indicated are sector A9. Hebe A9. Oh, hey, will you bring me one of those? Ordering my soda slave. message from the governor. Captain Johansson, 
You must attack those pylons on both habitable worlds. The Harak ship must be using them to direct the attacks against our settlements. We can't survive here if we lose our major settlements. Yeah, I need, uh, need to have someone go get me a soda so I don't have to walk away from my computer. Habercrumb, Habercrombie, Habercrome, I don't know. Industries Transport is a box containing samples of a green quartz. that's done building we'll have enough robots to throw down another habitat or something Too many humans, so so bounce. There we go. Keep on wishing I can use the uh, scroll wheel to scroll things or change numbers, but of course, old DOS games have no idea what a scroll wheel is. Wait, where are we in the negative? Should have enough to build a third power plant here. Our scanners are probing heavy. The telemetry data will be downloaded into our ship library, sir. Awesome. Thank you, Navigator Wu. TBD. Oh, I need a better name for these. Assessor Zeus? No.
call this Aegis. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, why are we staying? Why are you staying up so late if you have school, man? Take care. Night. Now, should we actually call this the SS Aegis? Yeah, we should. This, uh, ground looks like vomit. That's a lot of life support. In the deserted cryogenic research lab, you find some appended, upended cargo boxes containing shattered filaments. The boxes are addressed Habercrombie Filament Synthesizer. Methane City, Sector C3, Thetis. Uh, there's no way they were getting to Thetis this early. A9. Let me go to A9 now. Whoa! That's more robots than we can fit. The administration geodome, you find a report that fell behind, behind some empty files. It's the evaluation of a female technician on Thetis. The report concludes because of Miss Macumba's degrees in biochemistry and metallurgy, we recommend she be transferred from the Sector 8 office to study the unusual metal we just discovered. Let's unload. want those robots. Delicious robots. Whoa. Bunches of cool anomalies here. Wow, maybe not cool. Maybe it'll just be a Broken down ATV or something. Probably. I don't know if it's too late for me to order some boba. I don't know, I'm checking. Hello and welcome to the slingshot show. Oh, oh no, this stop, video stop. Is Welcome to the Slingshot channel, that's the last tab I had open in my browser, I guess. I'm ordering some boba if I can.
you'll have to excuse me for a moment while I order some boba teas. So delicious. You just have like a craving. Gotta have more cowbell. Spiked amber crystals litter the ground, and you quickly determine that it's frozen urine waste from the main Hebe colony. I don't remember, did I say Hebe or He, but I'm assuming Hebe. Get some energy. Oh. Okay, that's plenty. Unload. More life support. This small colony was destroyed by a massive explosion. Metal shrapnel tore the walls of, of the domes, causing almost instant decompression. Then why was there life support there? To me, that implies that we found, like, a breathable atmosphere or something. I'm gonna have to close my browser. OBS just uses way too much memory I'm gonna have my browser open as well because you know you know I've got to have like 200 Chrome tabs how else do you do it there we go having someone here to talk to, even though it was very distracting. Oh, you're back. No, you need to sleep. You have school. You don't have a test or anything. Now, I guess, um... I guess I don't know how old are you in, uh, like, university? have very relaxing music, I think. Of course, it's interrupted constantly by the sound of the ship moving, but it is 
dismantled mass driver, you find a message left by the manager. Continued alien activity at the gas giant forces us to abandon our base. Still do not know if they're friends or foe. Are they Centaurians who followed us? Or living Harak? Or someone else? Embedded in one of the few rock outcroppings is the area you find... Oh, in the area, you find a glittering piece of blue quartz. Yeah, I feel like a lot of old games that actually had soundtracks tended to have pretty good music. I guess because that's something, you know, they could manage compared to the graphics of the day. But it's kind of weird, like, a lot of old games do just have very memorable music, and most modern games I play, uh, maybe barring, like, Doom Eternal, uh, even if they have, like, good soundtracks, it's just not memorable in the same way. Whereas I think anyone who played, like, the original Doom, if you hear the Doom, like, E1-M1 music playing, it's instantly recognizable. I uh, just, there aren't many modern games that I feel like have that level of good soundtrack. You set up an instrument station to study the clouds. I think that might be all the astronomy we needed. Yes. Six turns for mass drivers. Uh, so yeah, let's go with this. Hopefully this will increase our fuel capacity. That's what's keeping me from going to most of the further out um, planets. Okay, it's still just slowly turning out robots. Pretty much everywhere. Why aren't our humans breeding here? I have no idea. We should have positive humans here, but we don't. Um, I don't know, I'll be honest, I don't really have much of a goal. Invention um, my daughter is streaming and so I just figured I'd give it a try just you know as, on, as a whim uh, I'm not I don't know I'm just doing this for fun I don't really care if if I get like subs or, any, or I guess I can't get subs but followers but it's, it is actually really cool having someone to talk to I normally don't um, really have, have anyone to interact with uh, it would be nice to just have like maybe a small core group of people that I can interact with or talk to or I don't know. It's more fun that way. More fun than just being by myself. <laughs> I don't know, I, have, I haven't really given it a whole lot of thought. Um, I didn't expect that really anyone would want to watch, so... <laughs> I don't have any idea either. But if you play shooters, I had been playing uh, a lot of shooters before I started playing this, so maybe, oh, maybe you're just, you randomly found me through that? Invention complete. 
still in save which uh, which type of shooters you like. Solar panels. Improved solar panels. New proposal. been streaming some Quake Champions a while ago? Maybe, maybe that's how? Uh, don't need astronomy anymore, it's interest to electronics. Look at Aries, Sector 19. Ships here. Great. How long? Twenty turns. Uh, maybe we just need faster ships. fully self-sufficient once that is done building. Did we do the same at Omega? No. Omega's still really tiny. We need robots. Yeah, I, I love um, GTA. GTA 5 is great. And even though, you know, it's a meme to hate on it, I really enjoyed um, Cyberpunk. I probably wouldn't mind playing more Cyberpunk. Uh, but I, know, I, se I seem to enjoy games that other people uh, critically pan, so I don't know how that works. Like, I, I, uh, I actually really enjoyed playing Fallout 76, even though that's an even bigger joke. I've never played a Call of Duty game. Ever. I don't know. I, um... I don't do much on the console. And now they just never seem... Are there PC versions? I don't even know. There probably are. The uh, Call of Duty zombies stuff. I think I did actually play at a friend's house once, like, ages ago. Um, I don't know which Call of Duty. That was fun. I can upgrade these again. I'm going to wait to upgrade habitats level 3 until I can get level 3 power plants and factories, though. Um, I'm 
really big into like VR games. I just haven't found a, a good way to stream those, I guess. Um, like streaming a first person VR view, it just, because of all the head movement stuff, it tends to be pretty nauseating to watch um, as a viewer, so. And all of the like stabilization sort of things to try and make the view less fidgety and uh, they all rely on like zooming in the field of view so that then you're not getting like any of the peripheral vision. And so I just, there just isn't a, a good solution in my opinion for that. Otherwise I'd love to stream like VR shooters. I think that's a blast to play. <laughs> I mean, the PS5 is only a, a waste of money if you bought it at, like, huge scalper prices. If you got it for MSRP, then I think that's fine, and uh, eventually there'll be, like, the new PS5 VR. I think that the old, like, PlayStation VR is pretty, pretty bad compared to PC VR, but... You know, it doesn't do like room scale walking around and turning fully around, uh, stuff like that. And so it's just very limited, the old PlayStation VR. I'm hoping that the new PlayStation 5 VR will hopefully not have those limitations. It'd be great to have more of like the same experiences both on PC and on PlayStation. Because otherwise you have you know, games have to be written for just the lowest common denominator. You, know, you get things like you know, Sword Trek Bridge Crew, which was fun, um, but it's just very limited. You know, it's just seated, looking forward position the entire time. Can't get up and walk around. Thanks. I'm still, uh, as far as consoles go, I still have an old PlayStation 3 that, um, that's my console. <laughs> I pretty much just use it for, like, Netflix and Amazon Prime, and that's about it. Most of the, uh, old, like, exclusives that I actually originally got it for are actually on PC now anyways, so... Uh, I think GPU prices are still pretty crazy right now, aren't they, as far as PCs? It might, might be safer to wait until that all subsides and you can get a GPU at like a regular price. <laughs> I'm putting off doing any big upgrades until then, at the very least. Oh, actually, I wonder if that's my boba. PC or getting like a like a pre-built Oh yeah, we're looking for ore. Completely lost track of what I was even doing.
habitat. Awesome. Now we can go ask for humans. Five. Wish I could increment these by five at a time. Oh, okay. Nice. It's good to at least have a friend like that then that you can rely on. Um, but I was going to actually say, you know, if you don't know a lot about it, then. Right now, uh, a pre-built, they can sometimes be cheaper than doing it yourself just because of the inflated GPU prices, thanks to uh, you know, all those scalpers. nice same here yeah luckily I put a bunch of money in um like last September when everything was like super low and uh, it just it blew up this year so that was great I'm not um I'm not big into like the uh, you know sh super short-term pumps though like more of a just put some money in and hold it sort of deal. But yeah, that's cool. I made the mistake of joining um, one of those crypto Discord groups the other day, and I've just been getting tons and tons of private messages now on Discord talking to, about like join our scam discord pump and dump channels it's horrible big regret uh, i don't remember what i'm doing oh yeah, i'm getting more two clips so from kiwi send me 10 of your ores please 10 of your finest ores Would have probably just for the hell of it thrown some money into uh, Doge, but uh, I only have an account set up on Coinbase, and they don't they don't trade in it, so I didn't feel like getting set up with a different exchange. Oh, just too lazy, I guess. Sure, it's probably even more intrusive. Uh, maybe I don't know, in, in 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 Germany, but we have to send like a lot of paperwork and scanning IDs and stuff to the exchanges, and it's just a 
a pain in the butt. I want to do it as, to as few places as possible. I don't like having to send, you know, my deets out to everyone. Okay. I had tried to get signed up with um, Kraken, I think it is. Except when I had, um, like, their systems were down from all the demand at the time, nonstop, and it was just a nightmare to try and use. Uh, the whole site itself would just keep going down. a really cheesy exploit in this game where if you, like this says as uh, five turns left mining order, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, then as soon as it turns back online, just after one turn it will produce all of its product. So if you need something quickly, you can just turn it off and on again. power here. Why, why are we running out of power? Okay, let's upgrade another power plant. Let's go grab some power. It seems like all games are buggy. Oh, why did I go back here? I need this at Calypso. while paying attention to what I'm doing in the game. Where's that last energy? person is talking so I wouldn't have even realized that I try and not have like my viewer account on screen because otherwise I'll be constantly like in the corner of my like how many viewers do I have <laughs> that's cool I know that probably when my daughter's stream ends, she will probably join as well. Oh yeah, that ship's just in orbit. We can send it back here. You. Go to Calypso. Nine turns left, and hopefully our power will be sorted here. One more electronics. So I'm going to just cheese this electronics lab. Uh, so 
Okay, we still have some to find on Ares. Everyone else just wants us to go to Thetis or is telling us, hey, pylons, the bad news. We can't even interact with the pylons yet. Ares. I think it said sector 19, but it didn't tell us which parallel. So that's fine. this one. <laughs> yeah, try and get some sleep. Sleep's important. I often don't get enough sleep, and I've, I don't know, I wish I did. <laughs> the empty outpost of the DeVries Company here. DeVries? DeVries? I don't know. DeVries Company. You find an optical disc. Most of the data is scrambled, but you do find a short segment where a scientist is speaking. The alien artifact we recovered on... To our home office in Titanium City, Sector C-42 on Rhea, for further analysis. Further analysis, Rhea... Where did it say? Hopefully got a PDA entry. Tell me we did. C-42, Titanium City. Let's go look. Try and find whatever the heck that is. I suspect it's just going to be titanium. Uh, that's really far. Do I have enough energy? Just barely. I don't actually think that we do. Ooh, thank goodness that was so close. A broken sign by the road outside the deserted town reads, Welcome to Titanium City. Elevation 324 meters. Population 1350. Is that? Oh, okay. It's not it. In the half-open safe of a ruined administrative office, you find torn blueprints for an unusual synthesizer. You can barely make out the warning. Top secret. Translated from inscription found on Alien Obelisk. It's just the markers from Dead Space. Oh, that'd be great. Maybe I should stream Dead Space According sometime. According to the evidence we found, the Tantalus scientists were investigating an alien obelisk they discovered. Unfortunately, we're not sure where or how they found it, nor were we able to retrieve the obelisk ourselves. In any event, the scientists were attempting to create a machine that could convert raw minerals into organic matter. Their entire minerals. research was based upon the obelisk of unknown origin. All this talk of minerals and pylons makes me want to play StarCraft. Uh, let's see. My notifications on my laptop are going crazy right now. about this obelisk. Sounds like my boba's here. Yes. So where is Thetis right now? This was actually a really cool aspect to this game. Um, that it actually, you know, has the orbital uh, sort of rotations. And so, I mean, I'm sure they're just moving in perfect circles. I don't, I don't know how, and probably way faster than they should be. Um, but it meant that, you know, instead of just a planet having a flat distance to another planet, you know, it, it changes. Sometimes they're both on the same side of the star, other times they're on opposite sides, and so sometimes something's really close, sometimes something's really far away, and it just made sometimes it a real hassle to send things from one place to another, but in, I thought, a really interesting way. And as a child, certainly, um, 
It was my first real, like, grasp of how that worked. Because a lot of older games, like, things are just in, like, static positions, maybe, like, in a ring. Um, and it was really cool having that sort of just dynamic element. Where is Theus, though? Is it even further? Poseidon. Is it Poseidon's moon? Yes, it is. Well, that's, that's like a... Mm, we have any chance of getting there anytime soon. It's the closest. Beta 2 is the closest. But yeah, that distance, there's just no no way in heck. Snow. Okay, we've already heard. Oh, we didn't hear this dude. I detect coherent radio signals originating within the system, sir, but I cannot pinpoint their origins. They may come from the Tantalus colonists, or they may be natural phenomena. I can't tell. frustrating to watch me just going back and forth between colonies, but... Uh, so what do we need here? We need robots. We are self-sufficient, though. Including robots, so that's handy. And we can build a habitat. But if we build a habitat, we will no longer be self-sufficient. Are you back? Can you not sleep? <laughs> so let's add up how many robots we'll need. If we want one each of these buildings more. So we need nine total robots. We can we can do that. I wish I had a good way of like in-game note taking. <laughs> well welcome back. What? You must be so tired then. Like I can pull an all-nighter, but the next night I'm out. So quick. How does that make any sense? If you didn't sleep the night before, when why would it be hard to sleep now? Do 
would you normally sleep at like a different time? Maybe just like off off schedule. It's a bit different. Let's see. So in this place, now it's upgrade one power plant here as well. But we need more humans. Bimbap needs humans. We have 500 just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, so, what are you studying at school? What, uh, what sort of field? Invention complete. Is that, do we have mass drivers yet? Yeah, let's get that. This just sounds like a better version of our mushroom machine. Okay, we need to build mass drivers. I totally missed when we invented that. your stream go? <laughs> Good to hear. I have mass drivers now. Mass driver is ace. Oh, geez, there's only a lot of robots. My one weakness lack of robots. Oh, cool, music person. It's like a big railgun where you can shoot like a, a huge load of cargo through space. Makes it like a, a really easy way to get cargo from like ground, say on Earth. Uh, we could use a mass driver to launch it out into space or to the moon or somewhere else to a space station. Uh, and it'd be a lot cheaper once we can efficiently build those than sending out like a rocket. Captain, the last of our onboard crew has been revived. Oh, sweet. Yeah, check marks. Check mark, mass driver. We got it. Uh, they're still under construction though. We just started constructing them. So then I'll be able to free up some ships that I had just ferrying or. Uh, and we'll actually be able to properly set up all of our space stations. Oh no. Uh, RL, we. We don't. Railgun technology, RL. Not very advanced. Like, you can look at videos of, like, the big sort of naval ones that they have or are trying to, like, mount on ships. That's about as big as we can handle right now. And even though once, uh, like I said, we could just build a mass driver right now, we'd also need some somewhere to send stuff. 
Like, right now we don't really have that. The ISS isn't really equipped to, say, receive uh, a shipment like that. We'd have to have something in space to receive it as well. Or something on the moon or wherever we want it to send things. Okay, so that's all of our humans. Now we just have to rely on them breeding. Aliens outside of the solar system. Well, I mean, right now, in game, I'm outside of our solar system. Uh, the star system that we're actually in, um, it's a real, it's a real star. Uh, certainly, it doesn't have planets set up like this. Because this is pretty much just a like copy and paste with a few changes of our actual solar system. But yeah, Beta Cayley is an actual star. So that's neat. I think everything just wants me to go out to Thetis, which is like Neptune or Uranus, uh, like a moon of. Neptune or Uranus, so. The Pistol Star. Do you like Pistol Shrimp? That's, that's the real question. Okay, so we upgrade that power plant. We still have robots. Try or next. Upgrade. Actually, we, I guess, have enough to upgrade the habitat. Nice. So, Parmesan, doing great. Do we have enough robots here? We do. Upgrade. Oh, we don't have enough humans, though. I just, I just sent humans here, though. We're waiting for our human shipment from Amazon to be delivered. But the plan is to have all of our sort of planetary colonies creating lots of excess or and be relatively balanced with everything else, and then have a few space stations collecting ore from mass drivers on those worlds and hopefully we'll be able to set up just like big research platforms on these space stations because that's what we're really missing right now we need a heck of a lot more research more than you know I can adequately or quickly gather from just exploring We have humans going to Billy Base? We don't. We need humans. Pipeline. Billy Base. Send me 45 of your tastiest humans, please. Why is it your favorite star? I don't know anything about it, so... Billy Base. Uh, maybe we should just turn this offline for the moment. That way we aren't bleeding out resources. Okay. What's, uh, what makes it your favorite? Is there something unique about it? I'm 
assuming it's very bright. If it's a blue hypergiant. valid uh, reasoning. Find traces of carboxylic acids, organic acids in the rock. Oh. I'm not sure I have a favorite star. Um, I mean, I guess the sun, Sol. We don't know enough about most other stars to make them, like, super interesting to me. I don't know. What's, what makes the star interesting to me is not the star itself, it's the planets. And so, there's just not many extrasolar planets that we know a whole lot about right now. Just, like, a couple here and there, and most, like, big weird ones. But if you had asked me, uh, or forced me to name a favorite star besides the sun, I'd probably either say well, Beta Cayley from this, or uh, some other star from, like, fiction that I like, like maybe like Wolf 359 or something. Um, I guess, uh, like Alpha Centauri, while not actually a very interesting star, um, it's interesting in that it's used in a lot of fiction. We just don't know enough about extrasolar planets right now, though. Uh, but no, I, I didn't find it to be very interesting. can go there in the alien RPG. Primitive amino acids. I'm sure there are lots of cool planets and cool systems, uh, but again, like, we just can't really resolve anything that far away that's, say, Mercury-sized very well. This whole planet, actually, that's all the science on this planet. Yep. We've exhausted it of science. Oh, that's my. It's exhausted it of science, too. It's even smaller. I'm glad. 
Well, I'm hopefully you wouldn't be an astrologist. Do you mean astronomer? Astrology very different. Not that there's nothing wrong with astrology, but if, if that's what you're into. The rock was folded. Astrologian. Yes. Yes, tell me my horoscope. I am a Pisces. I don't know anything beyond that. of some rock samples indicates that the material may be naturally superconducted. Oh, lovely. Well, that does sound great. Probably going to play more Resident Evil Village tomorrow, so it will be a lovely day. Fortune for a quarter. I love quarters. Oh, jeez, when did our ship capacity go up to a hundred? Unload vehicle. That's a lot of ore. It's so small, we could probably go through every single sector and just clear it of everything. Maybe we should. We're gonna strip mine Alpha 2 or wherever this is. This area is mostly free of small meteorite impacts. We do need astronomy, so. So this should be just an empty sector. Did you finish drawing that shark, Ace? Get to see the finished product. Oh, okay. school today, right? Or were you just working from home? Or schooling from home. No, I don't know what that means still. I'm sorry. I mean, I know what the word means. But in relation to school, I don't know. Sort of those days where like some people do it from online class at home and... Okay. Oh, is everybody doing it from home? Okay. So when you say asynchronous and no live instruction, you mean like, not even like live on like uh, a meeting? Like you're just all working at your own pace at home? 
Is that it? It's not even like an online live instruction? Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. That makes sense. Fuel? Did I just crash the ship? Um. No, I wasn't paying any attention. I'm making too much use of that handy unload feature. Oh, that blows. Uh, so Smythe needs a new vehicle to go offline. <sighs> Jeez. Send to Smythe. Man. That's no good. Let's see. Uh, we have a mass driver. Online. Destination. Calypso. Uh, oh, that actually brings our ore negative. Well, that's not great. Destination Calypso. Wait, why is our ore not negative here, though? Same at both these colonies. Three level twos. Oh, okay, no, it just took a moment. Kiwi. Uh, what say you, Kiwi? Send to Calypso. Will this bring Calypso positive? At the risk of sounding like a dummy, uh, the pipeline? robots, I think. I don't know if we can... Yeah, we can't support another level 2 factory. What's that? Maybe if I upgrade this. We could try. Sure. Yeah, there was a gas shortage. There is. I guess I haven't been driving much, so I haven't been paying much attention to that, though. So I'm 
seven turns. We can see what this does to our power situation. And then maybe build another factory. Let's see, another mining. Oh, maybe we... Maybe we didn't need to? Oh, no. Did we not need to upgrade that power plant? So we have six excess energy right now. Another level two miner only needs five. Yeah, we didn't need to upgrade. What about a dummy? just because people won't want to drive with gas prices being more expensive or, or I mean I guess maybe they're gas stations that are just out of gas I don't know So little energy. Um, let's find the energy. When we do have more fuel, maybe we can reach Thetis now? Question mark, maybe? That's crazy. I feel a little bad then for getting stuff um, door dashed. It has to be a real pain for, for those people. We don't 
don't have enough robots to run the robots factory. <laughs> That's no good. a hundred humans here. It is, it is. You can't go down any alley here without a pixie stick peddler harassing you. Okay. Looks like this is actually doing fine with all four power plants fully upgraded. Maybe... Go ahead and do that. Okay. And maybe we'll just do that everywhere. We'll need to eventually, anyways. Upgrade. I think it is still useful having a lower level factory, though, available. people. Transport to Babby. 100 peoples. And we'll hopefully be able to upgrade a habitat. Maybe I should upgrade a power plant here. Five more robots. Clipso, you have five robots to spare. Turn on our ore mining. We need more than five robots. Great. Well, will we start building this? IRL? IRL? IRL, we need robots, or IRL, Aces Alley is populated with pixie stick peddlers? some robots. Oh, we have a ton of robots that we found on Porpoise. Crap, let's get back there. Transport to Porpoise, please. Clips 
so just send a ship to the Aegis. Amazing. How are we doing for tech? Still inventing better solar panels. Two more electronics, we need that. Um, gonna have to admit, I don't really care much about these two. We need this. One more electro. If I turn this offline, will I still get the incoming? No, we'll see. We'll see if that updates. Go offline. Go online. not look at the Hera and Hebe reports yet. The closer moon to the gas giant is Hera. It is about one-fourth larger than Io, which orbits Jupiter. It has an appreciable nitrogen-methane atmosphere. This is the most colorful moon in the Beta Cayley system. The rich reds, oranges, and yellows arise from decomposing sulfur compounds. The intense gravity of the gas giant causes tidal deformation, which generates enough internal heat to melt the subsurface ice. Occasionally, a geyser erupts, spewing gas and liquid spray over large portions of the surface. The surface is quite smooth, with very few meteor craters. It's continually being repaved. Hebe? The farther moon from Zeus, Hebe, is about the size of Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter in the Terran system. It is distant enough from the gas giant so that the tidal deformation does not melt its interior. Thus, its surface is rather like a dirty ice ball. While it's larger than the innermost and outermost planets in the system, its density is very low. It is probably half rock and half ice. There's no detectable atmosphere on the moon. The surface of the moon shows a number of small crater impacts, but few large ones. Probably larger impacts melt the surrounding ice, filling the craters. And let's see, we have... Where's our new report? Where's my new report? I don't see it anywhere. Hostility. 
from the governor's office on Gaia. Incidents of hostile creatures on Gaia. One species of flora that was previously recorded as docile and sweet-smelling has begun spewing an acrid gas at our colonists who pass within its range. A second incident was reported by a recon team patrolling the southern hemisphere. Some form of tiger-like creature pursued their ATV for a few miles before they could outrun it. The latest report details an incident at D2. Apparently, a large simian-like creature assaulted one of our colonists. Others tried to subdue the creature, but were unable. We were forced to destroy the beast in self-defense. These reports indicate a growing tendency of, hosti of hostility against our presence here on Gaia. We may, we may want to have emergency plans in place in case these attacks become more frequent. In any case, I recommend a study of the life forms and close monitoring of the radiation levels on Gaia and Rhea, seeing as they're both as they both have native life forms with similar DNA. All right, Calypso, I'm upgrading your labs. Oh no, Calypso, um, you don't have enough ore still because we have so many robots. Turn off one of the robots' factories, even though it hurts. Upgrading a power plant. Um, upgrading um, our electronics lab. Yeah, electronics lab. And we'll just see what the difference between that and these is. Are. Factories are online. Nice. We have a big surplus of everything. It's more like I've ever hoped for. Yeah, those are mango stars. Delicious mango stars. Mango stars, mango popping bobas, and aloe jelly. Okay, our ship got to Porpoise. Oh, no, no, no. We have something to do, don't we? We have to send our scientists to D2? Send science advisor to D2. Another weird feature that I don't make much use of. We can change our pilot to our lead scientist and send her on an away mission. Because she's important, she gets a special cinematic. D2. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, I will remember that. Oh. But by D2, they literally just meant New Terra. Okay, our scientist is now at New Terra. I'm guessing we'll have to build labs there at some point. Not much point in scientists being here when there are no labs. Captain, I've arrived at D2 Gaia. I request a research lab dedicated to biology research be built here. I need round-the-clock analysis of the native life forms to try and determine what's causing their recent hostile behavior. Sure. One research lab coming up, baby. Biology. You can see our scientist is here. All the others are back on the Calypso. I wonder, so if we go to the bridge, do we see Houseman? We do. So this is, um, 
our other scientist. Research lab, we're doing that. Let's go look for or okay, a tiny bit of ore, but it's something. very tiny clumps of ore. Okay, there we go. That's a respectable amount. We have to set up um, mass drivers here to supply the UNS Aegis So, can you please send humans to Porpoise? Send 95. Yeah, they have plenty of. Oh. Okay, that's a 90. Uh, they have plenty of robots there. Thankfully. Cool, as soon as those humans get here, we can start building up Corpus. What's Beluga got? Beluga has nothing. Billy Base. Billy Base has humans. What are we doing? We need to build things. Billy base will now be self-sufficient. I'm generating a profit. Megalodon has nothing. What am I doing here at Batty? Babby still needs more humans. Yeah, okay, so we have humans coming to Batty. Invention complete. Omega. Needs more robots still, but. level 3 now. Heck yeah. Um, what do you need the most? Let's build another power plant.
also need robots. Everyone's online with these, right? Wait, why are there two ships at the moon map? One of you guys needs to get out of here. Okay, Omega still has an off, offline miner. So instead of building another mining thing, we should have just um, turned that back on. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh well. My lab is built. I'm not upgrading it though, because screw that. Is our lab here upgraded? It is. Does that make it generate twice as much electronics or no? Does make it use twice the energy. Not quite. Should I just go ahead and upgrade all of them? Yeah, I think we can actually afford it. Get us our electronics faster. I can actually test that. Let's see how much our electronics go up by. One. Wait, just one? That's a horrible deal. of this PDA entry as well. We built a research lab at D2. here too then. Look at all the ore on Smite. Megalodon. Babby. Babby still needs humans. Jeez. How long are they going to take to get here? Let's upgrade some of this. One. Uh, uh, uh. Two. What about Omega? What is this 
off one. Yeah, we should be able to handle that. We need um, another power plant and another habitat, though. And we don't have enough robots for that. Omega needs robots. Calypso, send Omega some robots. Oh, we don't want to do that until these labs are done. Because we don't actually know how many of those robots are going to be used up by them. Well, surely, surely they could handle a small amount. Until we get our humans at Porpoise. Five turns. Pipeline, Billy Base. 18 turns to get our humans. Gross. Oh wow, our labs are done and we have one excess for now. Just one. That's crazy. We do have so much ore though that we could run into the negative for I think a while without having to worry. I regret upgrading up I regret upgrading those labs though. Are we so low on ore here? Let's go get a load of ore. two power plants here. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to run at a little bit of an ore deficit. That's fine. Get enough robots to build out another um, habitat and turn back on our factory. I think that should be helpful. That is enough here. of lichen survive on the salty rock surface. A lengthy row of sweet-smelling flora form a zigzag pathway along this ridge. A large bush, similar to the Terran creosote, has spread its roots across the surface to seal nutrients from the surrounding vegetation. of biology. These grassy hills serve as home for small rodent-like creatures that feed on grass seeds. That's unlikely. But we can hope. Nope. Just a building. Above the gates leading to dismantled steel mills is a sign. Smythe Refineries. It is the comment should have named Smythe, man. 
Oh, the science. Screw science. I don't mean that, but... You know. Look, that's a ton of ore. Make sure we pay attention to our fuel though, we don't need another crash. Chatty birds. You find a graveyard containing Captain Johansson's mausoleum. Someone has spray painted a message that reads, you killed us, bitch! Thousands are dying because you demolished the starship! Burn in hell! Already. log of a crashed shuttle reads, Attacked the alien ship with missiles and lasers. No effect. Need to muster all remaining spacecraft for the next attack. Ore. Ordinary ore. Someone has car carved a message in a boulder. We did not press the attacks with enough vigor. We could have killed off all the large animals on both worlds. We created a plague that would wipe them out. I am a plague. Mister of the plague. Stenciled onto the walls of each abandoned building are the words New Frisco. The settlement looks like it had just recently been founded when the colonists left. That's a shame. You find a deposit of pale green crystals in a rock seam. Please give me robots. Some free robots. I would greatly appreciate them. Where is the thing? There it is. Ooh! The Gaia National Park Service has declared this area Quartz Quarry. Beautiful yellow quartz crystals are found in the rock all through the quarry. Beautiful. Mutaeus. Okay, so last tile we can check before we run out of fuel, I think. No robots. The ground is covered with small impact craters. Animal bones are strewn as far as the eye can see. It looks as though the Tantalus colonists tried to blast the native life forms out of existence. Tried and failed. Have the robots. Let's just send. Let's send 20 of them to our new colony. Try and build up as quickly as possible. Possible. I wish I could change the order of that list. Okay, if we go to colony. Oh, they're already here. Let's send these back to Ace's Alley. Get some humans. Get 
Give me 90 of your most strapping young humans. stuff once we have enough robots. Parmesan. What are we doing here? So we already upgraded one of each. We want to be able to turn this back on, right? What were we saving up for? Robots? Is that it? We wanted another robot factory. I don't know. I don't care enough. Let's just turn that back on. Okay, here we need robots. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what we're doing here. We already have four of each platform. We need robots to build them. Um, we'll turn that on and build the habitat. One of these should not be a Zali. I meant to send it to Nutera. Oh, Megalodon. We have the humans. Let's just get everything built. Go back to Calypso, please. Babby. Babby also has three of each platform, it looks like. We still need humans, though. Why, why do we still need humans at Babby? Explain this to me, Babby. accidentally set that to an infinite, which is not what we wanted. Let's see, Billy Base needs robots. Simple as that. We need robots here at Billy Base. I, I knew which song you meant. That's the only song from Frozen I know, so... Babby needs humans, let's just transport them. 
back a ship. Transport to New Terra. Hmm. That way we can upgrade one of these suckers. And a few more robots will come in handy. Oh, we could just go ahead and build a fourth habitat. Uh, mass driver. I have Billy Base. So what are we doing here? We need just a few more robots. run out of life support. Beluga. There, go to Beluga. Go online. Awesome. You will mine, and you will be a power plant. Can we actually just go ahead and build two of these? Those 45 robots went so fast. That's awesome. Corpus is now pretty much good to go. Um, let's see. Well, we need a factory. And we need a power plant. At the very least. Like a research lab as well. Change production like because I do not want two labs in New Terra. Look at them. We're not producing anything except robots, and we're losing some energy. Hopefully the three labs don't all have to be on the same planet. Yeah, just build three of them planet side, so I'm hoping one at each colony will work out. The message warns, thou shalt not sin again. Great. So we need a 
enough robots to upgrade everything. these three physics labs are done, we'll have to research something to actually get the shields. So if we did have enough electronics and um, math, I wouldn't want to spend them yet. Are we actually in the middle of researching anything at all? Yes. Okay, this will hopefully allow us to get to Thetis. Thetis. Thetis? Thetis? I don't know. Oh yeah, we are woefully low on humans now. Shocking. <laughs> Look at all this ore though, what? I don't understand. Why is our ore going up so quick? Is this not accurate when it comes to mass drivers? Because I feel like this is... We have like 900 or something, and it was at 1. It's been at 1 this whole time. There's no way that it should be as high as it is. Maybe we don't need as many mass drivers going. Temporarily put that offline. Let's just see what the heck happens here with the ore. I'm curious. Pylons? It's almost as if something is sending and possibly receiving signals from outer space. The best way to truly determine this is by utilizing space oh. stations around the terrestrial planet. We could build two research labs, each at space stations around both Gaia and Rhea. Great. All four researching electronics. If I'm correct, we should be able to isolate. Okay, okay. I'm going to a space station around Rio. What a nightmare. Oh, let's just send 50 of each of these. And we'll worry about robots and life support and everything. That stinks. Uh, so we need another factory breakthrough. I want level 3 factories. I can get level 3 of everything else here. Do we not need these anymore? <laughs> Let's see in our PDA. No, no, we still need our physics labs. Okay. We just also need uh, these. Change production to electronics, please. Let's go all in, actually. Once 
our physics lab on colon E is done, we will, um, in seven turns, we'll shut off the one at New Terra and turn back on the mass driver there. Sun will still be able to build a power plant. I don't know. Bibbin. Uh, this is offline. Why is it offline? It doesn't need to be offline. Can we still build a habitat? Maybe just barely. in the skies. Huh. So it shows like a positive five robots, but when I cycle the buildings like that, I don't get five. one more time, just one more cycle, and see where we go to. From seven to how many? It's just giving me one each. Maybe doing that cheesy exploit doesn't um, give you everything. that tells you that. Okay, we need this force shields thing, right?
Okay, tell me what you need. Defensive energy screen. We need just a little bit more electronics. And we have all of our labs on the clips that are set to that. So perfect. That is what our labs need to be doing, right? Okay, so out our colonies, we no longer... Yeah, dismantle. You're no longer required. Um, maybe we should keep these running, though? No, we don't need this mass driver on. that ship back, I need you to send a bunch of life support, too. Transport. To Emilicious. And let's send 50. Empty ship, please. Back to Kiwi. Once we have our life support, we will start building. Most humans now. Yeah, you don't need this many humans. Get out of here. Transport to Emilicious. 90 of our finest specimens. Emilicious. Send an empty ship. Back to the Calypso and return. driver here. And the power plant. So those will be the first two things we build. Power plant, mass driver, and then we'll worry about two labs. down here, the lab's up there, mass driver can go here. Now it's probably gonna take a while for our humans to get there. Yeah, three turns. <sighs> Capable inventing, please invent. Yeah. Change for 
production. Let's go electronics. Colon E. You can also go electronics. So we don't really need you yet. plant running. And we'll actually put that offline. Yeah, let's worry about getting our infrastructure all the way up here. I'll we'll wait for this fish retooling at least. Porpoise, how are you doing? What is your porpoise? Wow, this is great, having so many robots right away. Oof. So Porpoise is turning out great. Oh, we actually have a decent number of robots in that new Terra and Aces Alley. Once we break 50, I will start sending 25 robots places. Places that we don't have robots. And you know what? Electronics. Keep everything nice and um, symmetrical. Okay, Emilicious. We need a power plant. Not an anti-meteor gun. A mass driver. Uh, I need robots. And energy. Whoa! That was a lot of energy. Oh, it can hold 150 now. Holy cow. Well, that's really handy. Let's get some ore as well. Not sure. Man, I'm loving that. Clumps of grayish blue flowers occasionally break through the hard ground. Uh, so what, that was five ore. Not even worth exploring. Sulfur springs have made the humid air quite acidic. The acids have leached into nearby lakes, making them unfit for living things. Man. I'm so happy that we have these mass drivers. We can actually get things set up properly now. I'm assuming we can build them. Have enough robots. Nice. Cool. So we're doing well on materials now, but we still need three more robots. We should have that once this is done constructing. I guess we'll need a robot factory, won't we? Yeah, there's no way around it. We need at least one robot factory. And we'll just have to manually go get ore until we have the mass driver up and running. Let's see. Uh, 
feel like Kiwi lost more robots. No, oh, because they're building this stupid lab. Of course. Save up, build another power plant. What do we need here? Okay, we'll just let robots naturally accrue there. A bit bad. This is looking great. So let's see. We need a mass driver and another mining facility. Oh, and we need to upgrade more things. Oh, so let's see. They'll use two of our robots. This will use another two robots. So we'll have four left. of all four. Okay. We can do this. Upgrade. Let's upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. And we'll probably have to wait for those to be done before. Or will we still have these robots? So I'd like to just start upgrading this too. Yeah, okay. I guess we do have enough robots to begin all of those. Nice. As long as we've been back, we're good there. Uh, Omega, what are you doing? Not bad. Let's get some more robots. You know I love robots. Babby, you can start upgrading things. Upgrade, please. So we have four Habs already. Plant. And we'll need another factory to build robots. Maybe once that's done building, we'll have enough. I don't know. The Babby looks great too. Megalodon Smythe. Yeah, these are pointless. That was Billy Bass. Two, two. Just let that chill for a bit. My porpoise is doing great. Okay. We'll go ahead and build a fourth for some of this. And I think when those are done, we'll even be able to build this fourth factory. That was so great that we found all those robots. Colon E. You're not doing swell. You need robots. You have no robots. No! Why did I start that upgrade? Uh... Okay, we have to get robots sooner rather than later. Have way more robots here just a little bit ago. No, 
or to mind. What do you mean no or to mind? Oh, fine. I don't understand. happening with our war though. days we examined 17 samples of genetic material from both flora and fauna here on Gaia. We conclude that a new form of intelligence is growing in every native living thing on this planet. The animals here all possess a small third lobe in the forebrain. This lobe has remained almost dormant until recently. We've also, we've also discovered a nerve sheath within the central fiber structure of all the flora on the planet. Again, until the attacks began, this sheath seemed to serve no purpose. Within the last week, this third lobe has begun showing signs of increased activity, and at the same time, the remaining two lobes have been shutting down. Meanwhile, the nerve sheath in the floor has been displaying signs of physical motion control and self-awareness, almost intelligence. In brief, it resembles a humanoid spinal column surrounded by a semi-muscular tissue. The two possible conclusions at this time are a new, higher intelligence is emerging via this physical change in the biota, or an alien influence is controlling all life forms on Gaia via this third lobe and the nerve sheath via an unknown form of telepathic influence. Uh, both of those seem like huge conclusions to leap to. But what have? Twenty robots, please. To colon E. Colon E, please give back the ship to New Terra. Can't believe we're upgrading that. What a pain in the ass. Um, well, we don't miss running while we're doing this. Second habitat coming online. Change production robots. Yes. And we need 
need Robux. I would have thought. have enough robots, of course. Uh, let's see. Status. Damage. Okay, we've lost no robots. We lost three people? Okay. Where did our robots at Ace's Alley go then? Are we in the middle of building something and I didn't realize it? I don't know. have a decent number of electronics, I'm going to switch all of our labs to math. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. Missiles is our next, uh, next step. I don't understand. It seems like our ore is still going up here, even though we have only one mass driver sending. I don't understand it. And send things to you, malicious, even though it's not done yet. I can't. Okay, we'll see how that goes. New Terra, I need you back online, sync to the Calypso. Okay, Calypso's 25. No, not Porpoise. Team malicious 25. Okay. Cool. Oh, 
corpus for you to... You need one more robot factory. Robots. Wow. That's really cool. this one too, right? Sure. Billy Base. Two, two, two. Perfect. We need another factory. So once we have more robots. That's what everything's waiting on. Just waiting on robots. I need to find like a good cheesy way to get robots. Oh. Change to production. Robots. Speaking of the devil. Four factories, but three of everything else, so we need another power plant. Invention complete. If we have enough robots, we don't. Captain, the three large gas giants at the outer rim of the system would make excellent areas for us to siphon gas from for energy. You should start an orbital colony at one or more of them as an energy production facility. Sure. Now that we have the Dell Star Force generator, I emphatically urge you to build one at each colony on Gaia and Rhea as a defensive screen. We will have to rebalance our net output at any colony where we build these generators, sir. They will consume enormous amounts of energy to run, but they are only effective if they are online. Define enormous, please. Uh, so, New Terra, you are my favorite son, and we'll get an energy shield. First, we need more robots. Offline with you. Robots. Awesome. Oh, I wonder if we will have enough energy. Jeez. This is Ali, you just don't have enough robots. Yeah, even if I turn that offline. But your mass driver's offline, so I can do that. Kiwi. I'm gonna need you to do the same. Oh, jeez. The real problem is going to be, no, not this, uh, colony. I regret starting this colony now. I guess we have got it pretty far, but... Energy, life support. Oh crap, we need energy bad. For energy, not ore. I never really understood what these ore um, symbols are supposed to be. When I think of ore, that's actually what I think of, and it's entirely this game's fault. Go offline, go offline. 
crystals. what at first appears to be an olive green jewel. Closer examination reveals that it is a translucent cocoon. It dissolves at your touch. What else is here? Energy. How fortuitous. be fine on energy now, we just need more um, life support and many more robots. Uh, what if I just change everything to robots? Screw or we need robots. Shields take a long time to build. Delicious. Just go offline. Need labs. Two labs. Yes, 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 yes. See how this all shakes out when they're done building. Corpus. Wow, this is nice. A well balanced colony. Uh, so let's slowly start unbalancing it. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, we can't upgrade this. We need more humans. Filthy humans. Transport to Corpus. Yeah, send 150. Do it. Corpus. Let's get some ore and energy. That's important. And then I'll send you back to New Terra. To compensate them for their ship. The icy surface is dotted with bullseyes created by small meteorite impacts over the ages. Over the ages. Ammonia compounds have colored the icy surface pink gray in this area. Gross. Seams of yellow dust, precipitates from Hera's orbiting sulfur rain, form stripes in the ice walls. A lot of geology here. Why is there no math and electronics though? Or as I like to say, mathtronics.
that should that should hold us for now. Let's send this to New Terra. Goodbye. Whew. How are we doing for electronics? We're doing swell. Let's change to math. How did turning on a factory increase our supposed or surplus? So was that negative whatever just not correct earlier? Clearly not because our ore has been consistently going up. Oh. Okay, we'll have to see if this actually goes down over time now. Because uh, if it doesn't then we should just put more stuff down here. are offline, but I'll change them to math anyways. Two of those stay electronics. Um, so sorry. That was the whole point of us building be malicious. <laughs> Four turns. This is still going up, I swear. Our mass driver's just totally broken. Are we completely depleting Nutera's uh, supplies? driver is sending like way more often than it's supposed to be. I don't get it. Why is 
this offline. Because we need more robots. Uh, let's just turn that back online. And yeah, we'll run at negative energy for a bit. So I can build another one of these. I think this one is uh, pretty much good to go. Let's upgrade that. I'd like to build another mining facility here. Oh, actually, this maybe. I think we will need that on the Bimbat. Four of everything, right? One up. And as we get enough robots, we'll worry about slowly upgrading everything. We don't have enough humans to upgrade habitats there yet. He's doing great. Billy Bass is doing pretty great too. One more robot and we can build another factory there. Corpus. Looking great, just needs humans. Here that we sent that shipment of humans, so once they get here, there'll be no stopping us. Uh, colon E, you suck. Yep. Sending some from Babby. Oh, these are up. Sweet. Um, so this is super important. We need life support pretty bad. Go save E malicious. Actually, Kiwi could have probably. Got it. Uh, so 
So we are developing excess electronics, but... Oh well. Transport back to Kiwi. Thank you. And actually you go back to the Calypso. Hopefully that'll hold until the habitat's done. That is just a level one habitat. Okay. Why are you so negative? Oh, we're we're all in on robots, that's why. Stop all of these being robots. Yeah. Yeah, see? You need to be mining. You need to be mining. Uh, we kind of do need them to be all in on robots, though, so we can. so we can build a force field. <laughs> have force field up. It's tanked our energy production. Uh, our ore is also really fishy. Oh, there's no in-person tomorrow. Is it because of the gas thing? Or did they just feel like it? Either way, that's cool. you. Uh, so it's, the turret is fine, the Ace's Alley is fine, uh, the Kiwi is fine? What's this offline? still going up on the clip, so I don't understand. Even though we have negative 54, supposedly. Twelve robots. Uh, we do need them, but I'm tempted to just send some of those to Colony. spare piece of scrap robot we can find. <sighs> wow! That was uh, three hours ago almost. Oh geez, it's ten? I'm going to save and I think sign out. I had no idea it was already that time. S21. Sweet. Um, well, later, I guess. Thanks for chilling a bit with me um hopefully that other guy who was in here earlier went and got some sleep uh, i guess you should probably get some sleep too ace so later